Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the brand new release from Yves Saint Laurent. It is the new Mon Paris Lumiere. So I'm gonna be letting you know what it smells like and how it compares to the original and others in the range. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this, going through all different perfumes, and YSL Montpourri is one of my favorite fragrances. So I have quite a few videos that show, talk about that. And of course I have my website, my blog as well, where I have an article that goes through every version of YSL Montpourri. And if you're a regular viewer, do check to see if you're subscribed. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is insane. and means that I get that YouTube um, play button, which I think I'm gonna put on the wall just here. So really excited for that. So thank you to everyone who subscribed and do check to see if you are subscribed. Cool, so the original YSL Mon Paris, which I have here, is one of my personal favorite fragrances. It is a patchouli, rose, peony, and strawberry fragrance. So it's kind of fruity, um, but it's also very deep and it's amazing for lasting. It really lasts really, really well. I always choose this and reach for this when I want something that I know is gonna be reliable and project and people will be able to smell it on me. Particularly in the evenings, I tend to choose this or if I know I won't be able to reapply perfume for a while. And so I love it. I notice it's coming in a 150 ml size, a massive bottle. So um, I'm thinking about maybe ordering that because as you can see, I've nearly run out. I also have the Intensement version, which comes in this really nice sort of deep purple bottle. This one has more emphasis on the patchouli. It's a bit deeper, more wintry, less fruity. And so I was super excited to see what this new one smelled like, this new Lumiere. It comes in the same iconic bottle, but we have um, a different bow. They all have different bows on. This one is black with this like peachy color. The liquid is also peachy. And when I sprayed this for the first time and smelt it, I actually thought that it did have a peach note in it. Um, looking at the fragrance notes, it doesn't, but I definitely get that peachy vibe to it. What it does have is a lemon note and a lotus note. And for some reason that's smelling like peach to me. I love, love, love lotus in fragrances like Omnia Crystalline because it's so refreshing and clean. Um, I wouldn't describe it as a fruity scent, but this is definitely feeling like a fruity perfume. To me, I would have said it was like a peach and maybe a mandarin orange top note. But the, you know, the fragrance notes say it's lemon and lotus. Um, so let me know if you agree with me, what do you think? It then has um, that signature Mon Paris DNA, rose, jasmine, and then a hint of patchouli in the base. So it has the original DNA of the original, but it's nowhere near as strong and it's much fruitier and less sweet, I'd say. It is an eau de toilette. So unlike the original, which is an eau de parfum, and of course, intensement, it is lighter, like some of the other versions we had of this so I would say if you like the original I think you will like the smell of this because it's like a fruitier lighter version of the original and um, but it's not as strong as an eau de toilette so perhaps you want something for during the day in the summer and then wear your original Mon Paris in the winter time or at night I think it would work like that I think if you just generally find Mon Paris too heavy but you like the smell then you'll definitely like this. The scent isn't super light. It's not like one of those eau de toilettes that disappears after five minutes. It is still there, but it's very airy. And I think the Lotus does come through after a bit and it just feels a bit more airy and light and a bit more tropical actually. And it doesn't have the warmth of the patchouli and the rose that's in the original. They're much more subtle in this new Lumiere version. I think the name Lumiere is good because it is very like, luminous it's very sparkling shining uplifting scent it really made me smile when i first smelt it great for like humid weather if you want something that's just like fresh and quite zesty and uplifting that lemony peachy top note that i can smell and um, is definitely uplifting and it's also a super cute bottle i've been so worried that they were going to discontinue mon Paris because ysl is all about black opium um, but then when I saw they've released a new version, that gave me confidence that they're not gonna discontinue it, at least for the time being. Because for me, the original is such a hidden gem. It's so good for lasting. 
So yeah, guys, let me know, have you tried the new Lumiere version? What do you think? Which is your favorite out of all the different Mon Paris? There are quite a few. There's the floral one, which is more floral. And there's been so many cute limited editions that come out at Christmas time with like sparkles on and stuff as well. But yes, this is the latest one in this peach colored bottle. So that's it guys, um, I will leave links down below to where you can get this, um, where it's available, it has just come out for UK, Europe, North America, Australia, um, but that's it guys, so thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!